This is Code.org. I'm currently working on their CS Principles course. I'm on Unit 3, Intro to Programming, Lesson 8, Creating Functions with Parameters, Puzzle 13. Adding parameters to functions draw fish. Let's update our drawfish function to accept a parameter. Currently, drawfish can only draw a fish size of 30. Yep, that's our fish, 30. Uh, add a parameter to the function, and my picture might be a bit different because we've been adding parameters to all of our functions. So yours is probably going to look different than mine. Uh, add a parameter to the function definition for drawfish that allows you to control its size. Note, the pin width is important here. Make sure you, you make sure your parameter has a descriptive meaning. Okay, update your function calls. To use your new version of drawfish, change the size of the fish in your image. All right. Oh, wow, they have a, okay. So, let's see what we got here. We have drawfish size already. Now, what does that control? Well, if I duck down here or drop down here, drawfish, oh, that's our starfish. That makes more sense. Jawfish doesn't have a parameter. Awesome. And so to add a parameter, and this is our function definition, right? This is where we're creating a function. To add a parameter, I need to click this arrow. And then what are we going to control? I believe they wanted the width because they said 30. Yes. So, um, we want to control the... I'm just going to call this width because that's actually what it's going to be. And I'm going to put width here. Okay. So now when our function is called, we need to have a number that or a variable of a number in the function call, right? So this creates the, the, this is our function, but functions don't run on their own. You have to ask a computer to run this code. So let me go to where we're asking the computer to run the code right here. And now we need a number here because, um, so it was originally 30. I want one to be 20. And I don't know, one to be 40. We need a number here because now when we ask the computer, so the computer just kind of goes through our code here, move to, okay, it moves the turtle to 100, 100, jawfish 20, and the computer says, oh, what's that? That's a function. Uh, where's that? Where's that? Uh, oh, here it is, jawfish. Oh, what is width? Um, so width is, oh, it's 20. And then it's going to run this code and say pin pin width oh what was width width uh oh yeah 20 and it sets the pin width to 20 and then it runs through the rest of this code once it's done with our function running everything in our function it just keeps running straight down here so then it goes move to this draw fish oh where was that oh yeah here and width is now 40 so it runs this code pin width is 40 runs through the function right functions are only going to run if we call them like we are doing here all right, let's see what mine looks like with our new parameter. Ah, what if I make our 20 fish? I don't know, let's go crazy. Oh, he's not so much looking like a fish. Okay, what if I make him little? Oh. What was theirs like? Oh yeah, there's this, okay, cool. I like it. Awesome. Let's, uh, so the important part again was putting this in the function call, some number, make the fish, uh, as large as you would like, and having the parameter. Make sure it's descriptive, because if we add another parameter, you need to know what they are. Alright, let's keep, uh, going.